Hi everyone here, this is Ayla once again. Today we're gonna talk about a beautiful thing. I will talk about the woman, so pay attention. It's about the Muslim woman and how much Islam honored her. Sorry for saying that, but a lot of points prove that Islam does not justice to women. How? Tell me these points step by step. Islam prevents women to work or study and Islam orders her to stay at home. Who told you that? Islam doesn't prevent women to work or study. Islam encourages us to study. There are bad cultures in some Islamic countries preventing girls to study. And Islam rejects that. This is a cultural problem, not Islam. It's ideal for women to stay in house to devote herself to raise her children and take care of her husband. And you can imagine if a family were the woman in the street or office and her children in shelters and nursery. It's better than a family where the woman is mother and housewife and the children raised in the custody of their mother. And the ideally men must work to support women and the women stay in the house. And remember, Islam doesn't prevent her to work. But there are some cases where Islam prevents her to work if that work is a bad job or against her benefit. So why the Muslims women are covering themselves wearing veil? It's kind of repression and subservient. I will answer this for you, but first, why when none covers, it's considered that she is a great and modest woman, and when Muslim women covers, it's considered repression and subservient. Look at the picture of the Virgin Mary as you believe. She's covered. Why do you say it's repression and subservient? Now, I will answer you why they are wearing the veil. Women are like the diamonds kept in safe places where not anyone can touch them. But they are more expensive than diamonds. They wear veil to be modest and protect themselves from the man's eyes. Yeah, from men's eyes. This picture will explain to you more. Guys like a flies and girls like a candy. If the candy is not covered, the flies will be on it. And also if the girl will not cover herself, the guys will be around her like those flies and sometimes will not leave her alone. When a girl covers, no one can look at her body and lust. She is then forcing you to look at her respectfully. And she is forcing you to look at her as person, not as body. I'm talking about the true veil that cover women all, not the tight veil or the veil that show off some of her adornment and cover some. In Islam, the men inherit more than the women. That's unfair. First of all, and before I answer you, you should know that the state of woman before Islam was so awful. She did not inherit anything, she did not have any rights, man treat her as object not as human, and man enslaved them. And when Islam came, Islam honored her and gave her a lot of rights. And about the inheritance, unfortunately most who talk about this subject don't have background information in it. Look at why men inherit more than women. Men must work to take care of the family in Islam. Even if a woman works. She doesn't have to spend her money, she keeps her money. If she wants anything, her husband must buy it for her. But if she wants to buy it with her money, she can do that. Woman doesn't have to spend her money because it's the role of man to be supporter and provider. Even if the husband is poor and the wife is rich, the husband must support his wife. If she a rich woman, she can help her husband. Only if she wants, and no one forcing her to do that. Now you're telling me this is unfair. You don't know that there are cases where women inherits more than men? You don't know that there are cases where women inherits the same as men? You don't know that there are cases where women get an inheritance and man doesn't? We say in Islam, the father can force his daughter to marry anyone, even if she doesn't want to marry that man. And Islam prevents women to choose her husband. See, we suffer from these cultures. This is a cultural problem, not Islam. Islam allows for men to marry four wives. That's unfair that another woman share her husband. Share her husband with other women as wife is better than sharing her husband with other women as a prostitute. Jimmy Swaggart, a Christian preacher, he was not agree with a polygamy. But Islam allows four wives. He just corrected me, said up to four. I said, well, <clears throat> Mr. D. Dot, Christianity only allows us one, so I had to get the best on the first shot. But the best was not enough, because after a while, he was caught with a prostitute. He was against sharing two women as wives, but he shared his wife with a prostitute. I have sinned against you, my Lord. Oh, Jimmy. They are just against polygamy, because Islam allows it. I have never heard any one of them criticize prophets. You know that everywhere the number of women is greater than men by millions. If every man got married to one woman, there would still be so many women who would not be able to get husbands. If a community will not apply polygamy, this community must accept a lot of spinsters. Millions of women will be spinsters without polygamy. Who will marry them? 
who will find a solution for this problem. Islam gives you the solution here. And we should know that Islam came in time when men were marrying an unspecific number of women. Some were marrying more than 20 women. Do you have proof that before Islam the men were marrying an unspecific number of women? Yeah, and I can prove that from your Bible. And Gideon had threescore and ten sons of his body begotten, for he had many wives. And he had seven hundred wives, princesses, and three hundred concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. But Abijah waxed mighty, and married fourteen wives, and begat twenty and two sons, and sixteen daughters. Islam gives a man a permission to marry up to four wives only in the condition that he deals justly with them. And Islam gives a woman the right to make condition before marriage so that the man who will marry her doesn't marry another woman after her. So don't say that's unfair because also if she doesn't want that, she can condition that before marriage. Now let me abbreviate to you some points that might you ignore about the Muslim woman. She can work. The man must support his wife and she has the right to keep her money even if she is her age. She can take from her husband's money without permission permission if he says stingy. The bridegroom must give the bride her mahr, which means obligatory bridal money given by the husband to his wife at the time of marriage. Islam excuses her from praying or fasting during her period, because Islam takes the stress of her having period into consideration. Anyway, I'm sorry if I said anything wrong, and thanks for spending your time to watch this video. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and I bear witness that Jesus is the slave of Allah and his messenger. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين See you later